Can I interrupt you real quick? Mm -hmm. Um, I've been to a bunch of meetings, just work and stuff, the last couple of months. And um, a lot of the meetings that I'm at, they do something that's really neat at the beginning of every meeting. And I figure our neighborhood is getting so big, and we're kind of starting to distance who our neighbors are. I would like to implement at the beginning of every meeting for everybody, if you don't know somebody in the audience or up on the board, to introduce yourself to somebody and get to know your neighbors. I mean, because Eric, I met you at the pool and you lived right down the road. Johnny, you and Kelly live right down the road and I met you at the pool. So this way, we get new people coming to the meetings. So if you just, everybody just take a minute and just meet somebody that you don't recognize and just say hi, get to know your neighbors.
How often is the deed restriction committee getting to go out? Are they doing it on a weekly basis? No. If it's ever been done on a weekly basis, it's always been done every two weeks. Okay. Every two weeks? Mm -hmm. So you don't find enough volunteers to do that? No. Well, we need some more that more. We need some do volunteers. Stuff. Right now, I'm the volunteer. So are you the deed restriction committee right now? Kind of by yourself? Yep. He's not the chairman. He's the committee. Right. So you're having to drive around every two weeks and then get the letters sent to the secretary? She goes with me. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we go around every two weeks and we write them down and then we go two more weeks and we write them down and those that match from two weeks prior, then they get a letter. Right. If somebody would like to be a part of it, we'd welcome them. Just step right up. We really like that. After the meeting? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. After the meeting? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you can just tell me whatever. You want to be on it? Thank you, John. Awesome, John Kelly. Okay. Good. That's very nice because most people hate me. I will say that last, last month I had mentioned there was a property and I did notice that they had mold. So the letters, you know, y'all said y'all sent a letter and I, apparently they did mold from y'all's letter. So, so that's good. I think it's really important that we keep that up because once people realize that we're not checking it, they don't care. Oh, yeah. I agree with you. Pretty shortly after this meeting, you go again. And ma'am, what is your name? Francis Thank you. Thank you, Francis. I need a motion to accept the deed restriction committee report. John. Any second? Troy did. All in favor? Uh, All opposed? Motion carries. Okay, the maintenance committee report. Okay, so take what the boat ramp was uh, welded, fixed, returned back to the boat ramp. Where is that? Uh, replace the light bulbs in here, put the switches on timers, and the gazebo. Uh, they burn out when I turn <laughs> the, turn the lights on. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, <laughs> so the boards were, uh, we picked up the boards from the guy that volunteered to uh, donate them. Barbara's son. Uh, and uh, stored them over here at the uh, pool. Again, after the pool closes, we're going to replace some of the boards. Some of the ones that are damaged have already been marked. Um, it's we'll, cooler. We'll replace them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cooler and less traffic over there and everything. Uh, leftover boards after we're painting them in the pool, we'll use up the boat ramp on the pier, possibly, depending on what we've got left over. Uh, again, the boards, you know, some of the places have already been marked. Over there. Uh, there was a teeter totter that was damaged out here. Uh, Troy managed to find a missing bolt, so that replaced it. It's back functional again. Uh, also, there was uh, some signs being vandalized, which was apparently at the uh, boat ramp. Troy repaired some of them. We need to install one back again. Uh, we'll probably have to do a post or something like that. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting until we get a cloudy day. Yeah, no problem. I got it. Uh, again, the rocks are on hold for the boat ramp. Uh, we don't really have funding, so uh, that's pretty much the main support. What's the status of the swing set? Swing set, we haven't done anything with that yet. That, that was pretty much intended to be on hold until it cools down. down. Once it cools down, we'll break it back out, move it. We might even take one section out so it won't be as long because we don't have that kind of area. But that's still given four or six swings. So that's where we're at with that until it cools off. Okay, if we move it around, we'll make the decision that if there's enough room to put them all in there, we will. Okay. And if uh, we can't, we'll take one piece. The other thing I would like to mention 
If anybody sees anybody tearing down the sign that the boats left, they done tore two more down and throw them away. The ones that were stuck on the railing? Yes, ma'am. And that had to be hard to do because me and Jerry put them on there with screws pretty tight. The big ones still there? And they're not nowhere around there like they just throw them off, throw them on the ground, they're gone. And then we're about $150 signs. Suspect somebody wants to park there without it being towed, huh? I would imagine. Is anybody checking? Yes. Yeah, we keep some good out of it. We ain't really have. We have some that comes in and unloads for both and leaves. But that's what they told them to do years ago. So long as they're not using the area, there ain't a whole lot we can say for them. As long as they're parking the trailer in their subdivision, they're not going out somewhere. So, if you see anybody tearing up anything, give us a call. It's just costing you money. Is the tow company still coming through? Not the tow, is the tow company still driving through and checking the boat range? That I don't know. I, uh, I see them every once in a while. Not regular anymore. Yeah, I mean they never were very regular. You almost had to call. Yeah, there, to call there for a while, there was somebody that was coming two or three times a day. Uh, but that's been like a couple months ago. Was it our tow company? Uh, I, I think it was. was. But whoever's coming through now, I'm not sure. I don't see anybody anymore. Hardly. Who was y'all using before, Patsy? What was the name of anybody remember? Oh, look, at, see if I have it in my phone. I don't think I did. I think they I they should furnish the sign. Yeah, the tow company should show pretty signs. Yeah, they're probably right yeah, right 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 down there. Yeah. Uh, with me. Good. But we did have to call them several times and tell them, we expect you, you know, to come on a regular basis. And I think after Patsy complained, they started coming more often. Yeah, I, I, I saw call one coming in yesterday, but I, yeah. I don't see them every day anymore. They don't come. They don't come. They don't come out on their eyes. Uh, that's been a problem for years and years. They say they're going to, but seldom yeah. they I think we called, you called them enough that they started coming out of yeah. this. Well, it's a long drive, too, for them to make an empty trip. Then they shouldn't have said they were going to drive them. We had <laughs> one that was off of Dallas. That's still a long way, Dallas. though. He's I can give you the, the phone number here. Oh, that Before was, uh, Dallas, that was I don't our watch it, yeah. Yeah, he's still with Come Down. Yeah, he's, I know who you're talking about now. I use him when I get stuck all the time. Do I have a motion <laughs> to accept the maintenance committee report? I should have moved. I need a Um, 
Okay. Um, as in, uh, in regards to the inspection, we have not, they have not came back out and done the inspection yet. Connie, you want me to go through the rest of this or am I doing it later? The reports. The rest of what? I don't know. The full reports. No, just do the full report now. Okay. I don't have it anywhere listed. Okay. Go over. Um, okay, so the inspection has, they still have not gotten back with me to get the inspection done so we can get a permit. I'm not fishing the issue until season's over. Um, the last I talked to them, they were getting all the electrical stuff from our uh, electrician. Um, the pool is closing September 3rd. Um, I've been debating on whether to cover the pool that day or leave it open. Because even though the pool's going to be closed, I'm still going to be cleaning it, chemicals and stuff like that. So I've talked to a couple of people that have dealt with the pool over the last couple of years. So I think I'm, I am going to go ahead and cover it. I've got a pool company that has offered to come in and put the tabs on the timers for the pumps. So they're going to do the tabs on the timer so that the pumps run 12 hours a week. I'll continue to do chemicals, continue to put the uh, vacuum in. Um, so if anybody wants to help Labor Day after 6 o'clock to put that cover on, uh, we'll cover it that night, and then I'll just continue to do chemicals. Did you get the staffs put in the decking to attach the cover to? I have no idea because I haven't, <laughs> I, I haven't, I kind of, I don't know anything about well, covering it. Well, I, this is the first year I've done the pool, so I don't know. So I'm gonna get with Troy before that weekend and see what we need to do. But I haven't pulled anything out. Okay, but I, I, this is the first year I'm. I'm It'll get done, whether I have to fumble my way through it or not. Uh, but we'll go ahead and cover it September 3rd. Uh, let's see. And again, we'll con I'll continue to work on the pool during all seasons. Um, there was an incident at the pool on July 20th. I can't go into specifics because of the nature of the incident. Um, the police were called. Um, I did come to the board as soon as that happened and ask that the person that was involved in the incident not be allowed back at the pool, banning them from the pool indefinitely. Um, again, I, I mean, I, that, I don't take that lightly to ban somebody from the pool, um, but this was a pretty big deal. Um, so I would like to ask the board um, if we can vote on banning this person from the pool until further notice. I want to make a motion to approve the executive members. Like they're included with the minutes. Oh, you included them in there? Yeah, okay, well, that took care the of this issue. Uh, we haven't voted on it. Okay. We haven't voted on so what's that? Can you call the July meeting? Oh, oh it didn't? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, do I have a motion to... Uh, uh, yes, it was alcohol related, but it was also other related that we cannot put in minutes. I'll make a motion that we'll go on minutes. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Do we need to make a motion for that? All opposed? It's carried. Do I have a motion to accept the full report as given? I'll so move. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Clarification on something. This lady that we were talking about. She's getting expelled for ever and ever, right? No, no. No, it was, no. no what was discussed was, no, it was until she went, until she could show proof that she had been into some kind of a, a, a help. help program 
and then she was to come before the board again, and at that time the board would decide whether they wanted to let her in or not. So if y'all issue a criminal trespass warning against this person or not? You can't. No. Why not? The police would not. They said that it was no, that's a civil. that's a civil issue. Have y'all issued a criminal trespass warning? No, the police okay. said that we could not. I asked the police what we needed to do as a community. They said that it is a civil issue that we have to go, um, it comes across to the board on whether to not allow them at the pool. We did not press charges. Um, she was already in enough trouble as it was. I didn't want to make it worse. Um, but that's what I was told by the two police that were there that night that it was up to the board what to do in regards to keeping her out of the board. So you have to issue them a letter of criminal trespass warning so that they can't be charged with trespassing if they come back. Maybe you guys should ask uh, your attorney, Mr. Powell, about that. I'm sure well, we did. Well, I we just did, did what the police that. officer told me. Uh, and the I'm lady, off of what, because I'm a concerned resident. The I'm lady was sent a letter. Certified? It's, it's, there certified. will be a certified letter going after that. Oh, okay. So she will be notified. But, yeah, and that's and, and whenever I asked the police officer, because I spoke to the police officer and her husband, God, this is going into a lot more depth than what it should. They are a homeowner. They still live in this neighborhood. I'm doing this for the safety of everybody at the pool. I asked the police officer exactly what I needed to do to keep the person out of the pool, and that's what he told me to do. So that's what I'm doing. But don't you think that you, you need to notify her legally? Yes, and that's not but, but we have to I had to vote. I think. Yeah, great. we have to vote as a board on whether we want to keep her out of the pool or not. Once we vote, then we'll take the next step, which is to send her a certified letter. I think it would and I I'm just suggesting I think it would be uh, instead of trying to require her to do medical steps to come back into the pool, I think that it would be better served to word it that she needs to come to the board and request well she has to once she gets help she has to okay. and, and and again we but can't go into every detail of what happened yeah. it was just it was not just alcohol related I'm okay. not, there's other things that's so, fine but i'm just saying that i'm not sure that the homeowners association should not should be putting Medical oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. That's in, in no letter yeah, would we no say, would you have to seek alcohol, the okay, AA passes or anything? That's, that's what you were saying. No, that's not. Right. Is that you, yeah, you she had to go through some medical. type of. Well, no, I, it wasn't medical. It was she has to go through some kind of program. Okay. A program. A program we're talking about a medical program, a religious We're talking program. about ones that you don't cuss people's kids and beat them. Uh, Troy! Troy, you said too much. Okay, Troy. We can get it. I'm not from. saying that she can't. Okay, be this I'm conversation's like over, and that is for the, the sake. Word. That is, this yeah, is a homeowner. This is, this is information that that homeowner, they, they still live in this neighborhood. I'm and not. I understand the neighborhood wants to know. But there's certain things that we cannot share at an open no, meeting. We this is not fair to that that person. There is. I'm, there I'm is not talking about that. whether she is banned or not. What I'm talking about is the wording. Okay. Ma'am, we have an attorney did. that will will do all the wording for us. We're not just going to send it out on our own. We have we have an attorney now. We can't stipulate what she needs to do. Basically, she can come to the board and say, "Hey, I did this. I did that. I did this. Will you let me come back in?" And then the board will decide that's enough. That's, that's not enough. That's all. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. Is that's all we really should. That, that, that's all. We, we won't are. write the letter. There's, there's no specific thing when we okay. vote somebody out. Okay. The next item is O business letter of demand. It's been finalized finally. So that's all over with, and there's no need to discuss it any further. If it's over and done with, there's nothing that can be done about it. Our new in business. We're going to skip the insurance because I can't remember what I was going to say. The website is under construction. So you will be now and probably next month you will be seeing a lot of changes. There's a lot of forms. There's some legal documents that we have filed at the courthouse that's never been put on the website. They're all in the process of getting put on the website. So 
the website will be up to date with all the charges, fee, you know, anything. Any information you need, it's up to date on everything that's filed at the Harris County Courthouse. That's going to be a couple of months. Well, it'll be a gradual thing. I mean, you may see something today that, and then go back tomorrow and there's nothing different, but go back in a couple of days and there'll be some other stuff added. The next item is the attorney. We had a lot of requests for copies. The board didn't feel confident enough to make a 100% decision on whether these copies were confidential or if they were open records. So the board uh, voted to hire an HO, it is an HOA attorney that we hired. And uh, so just taking care of that part of it. He also informed me that we don't have normal or what some people call executive meetings. Our executive meetings are closed session executive meetings, which means the only thing that we discuss in those meetings is stuff that cannot be discussed publicly. And you can't discuss homeowners publicly. Um, there's just some things that you just cannot discuss in an open meeting. And that is strictly what our executive meeting consists of. So he did suggest if we're having uh, some homeowners question about us not posting an executive meeting, that we go ahead and we post it on the website. We put underneath it that it is a closed session, which means nobody is allowed in it. Put the date and the time and the location of it. So that will be done uh, from now on on the executive meeting. If someone shows up to an executive meeting, they're welcome to come in. We will immediately go into an executive session because that's the purpose of the meeting. They will be asked to leave the building. We will finish the executive session. We will go get them. They can come back in and then somebody will uh, make a motion to adjourn the meeting because there's, no reason, there's nothing for us to discuss with any homeowners that should show up because this is only confidential information that's being discussed. So, and he knew about the executive meeting I had last week and he knew that there was not a, uh, it posted over there. So you, you guys had voted on this attorney in an executive meeting to hire this attorney? No. No. So when did y'all vote on it? I'm sorry? When did y'all vote on our attorney? You said you voted on our We had to. Well, the board voted. We can vote when did according, to the, according to the state HOA <laughs> rules. And when did y'all vote? That's what I'm asking. Was it an executive meeting? No, no I'm telling you. I sent out emails to all the board members because the state HOA law state that we can vote by email. This was something I didn't have time to wait until today for this meeting because these requests had to be answered in a timely manner. So we had no choice but to hire an attorney at that point. Everybody voted for it. Then I called and got prices from two different HOA attorneys. For our money, our, our homeowner dues, is what y'all voted on to spend without talking to we don't have to. Okay. According to the attorney. According to the bylaws, you do, but we'll get, we'll get to that. Okay, we got we just that. No. Me, if you're willing to do all the research to hire attorneys for residents I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Somebody's talking, I can't hear you. Yes, what gets me is if you're willing to hire an attorney and do your research really quickly to answer a homeowner, but y'all were not willing to do that when y'all were when y'all got this letter of the no, ma'am, we I did not. Because okay. none, I just said, ma'am, because the board, no one on the board felt 100% confidential to make it a decision on if those requests. On if, let me finish, please. Let me finish, please. Thank you. Nobody on the board 
felt confident enough to make a 100% decision on whether these requests were confidential records or whether these requests were open records. So that's why we had to immediately hire an attorney because we wanted an attorney to advise us on what records we could release and what records we could not. We have found that there is some stuff in the uh, that was requested that is confidential. We would have been in trouble if we would have sent copies of that out. So that's why we went to an attorney. But what I don't understand because you did your research immediately to respond to this homeowner. But there was no research or no consultation to respond to this letter of demand. So you all to make a decision to spend our money like y'all did again. Oh, you're talking about the letter of demand. We're not discussing the letter of demand, ma'am. No, it's finalized. It's over and done with. There's nothing. Nothing can be changed or anything on that. So I'm not discussing that anymore. Connie, on that, you know, whenever you said that, and I understand you can't discuss part of the attorney's uh, uh, discussion, that you all can't discuss or, or give the information to the homeowner. Correct. I mean, are we allowed to know what the homeowner was requesting so no. that we can... That's confidential. And what about the fact the meeting was illegal last month because y'all didn't post a notice from January to 72 hours before the meeting. So anything y'all did is something to be challenged. No, there was no public That's notice. fine. If y'all want to challenge it, you can. It was brought to my attention. It's never, ever, ever been done in this subdivision. There has never, ever, with any past board, I'm not worried about they have I'm never saying. posted the agenda. It was, brought, it, was, it was brought. It was enough money. It was brought to my attention. It was brought to my attention, Mr. Led. It was brought to my attention that we had to post the agenda. I thank the person that brought it to my attention. I did research, and I assured that person that at the next meeting, the agenda would be posted on the website. So are y'all going to re-vote on everything you voted on last meeting? Because no. I didn't notice that that meeting was even going to exist. Oh, but you know, you've been on the board. No, I don't. You you've been on the notice. board. You know the meetings are the third Tuesday of every month. I'm not worried about it was past, posted on the sign. It was posted on the website. It was posted on the calendar. Why didn't you and it was worry about Facebook. the past? Why didn't you guys get an attorney before you settled the demand letter? Because I didn't have to. And you're That's what it all cost it. You want to blame us. All right, let's go on. Let's let's go we've got our three minutes okay. up there. We've got our three minutes. Okay. Uh, Y'all resign? We're, we're, what, we're, we're not resigning. No, you're right. not going to run us off that evening. We've got three minutes. Okay. You're not even, no, they you're not resigned. Not you're not resigned. Not you're not resigned. Not you're not you're resigned. didn't run anybody off. You're not a resident. You're not a resident. You're wrong. You're wrong, No, you don't. Where do you live? 1850, oh, that's confidential. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not out here. Right. Uh, back to order, meeting back to order, meeting back to order. Okay, and now what I need to know is, is do we, want to, do we want to hire this attorney to do our deed restriction violation and anything else and to have him to advise us from this point forward? Yes. Who wants to make the motion? Dora made the motion. What was the second? Motion? Do I have a second? I'm sorry. Oh, it was to want to know if we wanted to hire this attorney to be our attorney to represent us on deed restriction letters and on uh, maintenance. Do we have the attorney's fees. name? What's the name? His name is Jason Fowl. That attorney sued Blake Shadows in 2010. F O S. He sued us. He's against us. Why do we want to hire him? Yeah. He was cheaper than the other HOA attorney. He's not a big he just like okay. you, he was doing a job. We have a motion and a second on the floor. I don't hire people. All approved. All approved. All opposed. Motion carried. All right. I know where we need to go. Okay. The insurance. It's mostly, you know, I just got on the board in July. So there's been a lot of research I've tried to do. Uh, according to this, uh, uh, 
Stop! Nice. Stop! Oh, we're not going to do this. I will walk my butt right out of here. Everybody on the board and out in the audience, stop with the bad, I, I can't, I'm not going to deal with this. You be respectful to everybody across the board, that way and this way. We're not going to start doing this on either side. Okay, on the insurance, I got to do a research. I couldn't find any place that the insurance company had been notified about the letter of demand, which was the past president's job to do. Nothing in the record. Can't find anything in the record. Of course, there's some other stuff that we can't find in the record, but we're not going to go there to do with the same thing. But, uh, so I called the insurance company. Your kids are tearing that thing up the best yeah. they can. Caleb! The insurance company told me that if you get a letter from an attorney, if you think that you can settle it, then for you to go ahead and settle it. Each time that you contact the insurance company, your premium goes up, your deductible goes up, and you have a black mark against you, which they can cancel you when it comes up for renewal. But they said that the right thing was done because the board felt like that this could be settled. So the right thing was done about not contacting the insurance company. So. What's our renewal? Do they do every year? Every two years? Every year. Every year. Every year. Every year. And do we get bids on that? Kind of a lot to buy. Yeah, we, there's only four insurance companies that cover an HOA. One, so we did this this is all, no, one of them won't cover us anymore. Do we contact them on that? No, we don't contact them because they will not cover us anymore. We have an agent. Because, because the past insurance board, companies and then they give us who will and who won't yeah. and then lets us know what the, what the costs and stuff are. So that's how we, the agent let us know that there were only four, and then the four that he contacted sent us over the information. There were one or two that wouldn't cover us, and then the deductibles and the premiums and the policies and stuff on the other two. So he's the only agent that writes HOA policies in Texas or Arizona? No, it's all the same agent agent all that the for years. There's only four insurance companies that will cover an HOA. But we use the same middle person that this HOA has always used. We didn't take. We didn't change the middle person. We had the same middle person get insurance policies that they that were offered. So we used the same agent. We didn't shop for a new agent. We shopped for new insurance policies. But the agent did go out and shop the other insurance companies. Well, what what I'm saying, what they did. and I know it takes a little bit of time. It's, it, I think that if we're looking at insurance, I don't know when it's due. But I would, I would definitely like for our homeowners to see if there's a, another agent that has diff, different insurances that can bid. I know personally on my homeowner's insurance, I just changed four years ago and saved 50%. Did I think I could have done that? No, it was just a fluke. But I think it would be worthwhile. Well, ma'am, when the... When the uh uh, DNO policy came up for renewal. I did get it knocked down. But if they're threatening to cancel us, if we use them, any insurance company then, will. Well, so we've already been canceled. We used one out of carrying insurance all these years. We used the insurance company one time, and they canceled us. And they will not renew us because the past board. And that's fine. Contacted them for insurance, and they would not renew it. Would you mind if I contact them and see if they cover us, and you know, I get you a letter of denial if they won't. It's so contact you. That's right. What's that? That's right. Contact you. The insurance company that you said denied us and won't cover us, because I'm, you know, they're all out to make money. They'll cover us. The rate may not be as good, but I'm sure they'll cover oh, us. Oh yeah, but you're right. They okay, will so cover you for a really high uh, premium okay, and a really so they, high deductible. They will cover us. They will, but okay, you don't want to go. Dollars. You don't want to go with a fifty thousand dollar deductible and a policy that's like sixteen thousand dollars a year. 
Sounds like no one's even contacted them. That's the point. We're all no. trying to get across. If you would let me finish, I did go out for beds for insurance. I, I did last year as well. I did last year as well. Yeah, it, and you probably got the same thing that I did. Some of them won't cover, and some of them will. What's next? The deductible went from $5,000 a year to $2,500 a year. Premium. Okay, and it went it went from five thousand three hundred and thirty dollar premium a year with a five uh, five thousand dollar deductible. I have it now for four thousand one hundred twenty eight dollars a year with a twenty five hundred dollar deductible. We always shop that too. And this is part of the process. Linda did that for us last year. Yeah, everybody does. If you go out for a better rate every year when it comes up for renewal. But there's not there's not tons of agents that carries HOA and there's not tons of insurances that covers HOA. Like I said, there's only four. So you can only shop those four. Okay, now we're going to resumes for bookkeepers. We will be taking resumes for bookkeepers or for bookkeeper. Uh, resumes only at this time. Then we will narrow the resumes down and then we'll have applications filled out. You must have a room that's dedicated for a Lake Shadows office. There's lots of equipment and file cabinets and all that stuff that has to go into a room. You will have, uh, uh, or you can have homeowners coming over. You can, uh, you will definitely have the board coming over because that the bookkeeper keeps all of the Lake Shadows files since inception. Now we, we take out the uh, property owner's file every so often, every year, but uh, but you have to have a room dedicated to it. What's the pay for that position? Uh, it's going to be a, upon experience. It's going to be based on experience. It's going to be based within the budget? I'm sorry? Is it going to be based within the budget? Well, to be honest with you, we don't know where the budget is right now. Why not? Well, first, it wasn't a balanced budget. It was over budgeted for expenditures and, and versus what came in from for income. Second, we're having to return uh, maintenance fees. And so until we finish returning maintenance fees, we don't know how much money we have left. Where's the resume supposed to be posted? The, the resumes are to be mailed to P.O. Box 642, like Chad specifically. Is that going to be put up on the, um, the board to sign up there, bookkeeping resumes uh, that, you're, that, you're willing, that you're going to be taking? I don't know if they'll be put on the sign, but we'll put it on the website. Will there be a deadline? People that are interested will know. Yes, but we haven't set the deadline yet. Have you gotten any yet? No, we just, this is the first that we're putting it out there, so no, we haven't gotten any yet. Uh, the P.O. Box 642 is in Crosby. Have the refund checks been started sending out? Oh, yeah, as we received the, uh, the letters back from people, the uh, the ones that wanted refund, they were automatically sent a check. So the deadline is today, it's tomorrow, tomorrow, for any mail. And then after that, then we'll start issuing the massive amount of checks. What is the response to that? Sherry, can you answer that, please? Um, 
us in one other subdivision are the only ones around that pay per square foot. They pay per lot. So that would be great the subdivision that had somewhat near equal lots, but ours are not. Yeah. I understand they what you're saying. Under 10 to 40. And you're not the only That's one. That's a great difference. You're not the only one that feels that way because when the that was what I wanted to say about it. when the letters were sent out, there were several people that responded, and that was one of their concerns was the same thing you're talking about. Thank you, Patsy. Thank you, Johnny. I just real quick, and I, again, you know, I praise a lot of you guys. Y'all volunteered to do this. I mean, it's, I, to, to put up with some of these uh, uh, homeowners, I'm just gonna put you guys through. through. I got sleep in that. But on this right here, I got four letters right there. And we talked about this the last meeting. We asked if anybody on the board had any affiliation or contact with that attorney that Mr. Pearson was using. And everybody on this board said absolutely not. Agreed? Agreed. All right. The letter that y'all have in front of you is posted January uh, 2018. Uh, uh, that wasn't the date that we're given. Sorry, said, that that okay, this is this is the letter that was sent to her on that day. But it, but the but the question was from June to present, and from June to present, nobody had. Yeah, that's what. It okay, was well, I'll go back to it. Back. But yeah. the the problem that we have is that I think that there may be a little bit of a conflict of interest because we read that uh, same letters that we received in uh, January of 2018 says you can't. Then you got to turn the uh, Mr. Fuller <coughs> back in February says you can raise the dues. Then we get a letter back on April that says you can't, and then of course Mr. Crippus comes into play in June and says, "I'm on. Well, y'all don't meet my demands. We're gonna, you know, file suit, which is fine. I think that you guys went out there and y'all got an attorney for you know questions on a homeowner wanting to know about the records of the community, but y'all didn't go and get an attorney to talk about this attorney right here that was willing to sue us. That, mind you." Graduated in 2015, passed the bar exam in 2017, and has never filed a claim in Harris County. Oh. And, okay, hold on a second. He was with this firm in January. He was at this firm in April. But all of a sudden in June, he's on by himself. He's not even with the law firm at all. Oh. But yet, y'all made this choice to give him $5,000 without talking to anybody of the community and asking what we thought about it. Instead of paying $5,000, Risking the insurance company dropping us, risking our premium going up, and risking uh, the dues. The okay. insurance company okay. would provide the insurance we asked. Okay. Okay. What I can, can, what I I can tell you is I can cannot I respond to your comments. I was not on the board. Can at I that ask time, you a question, so it's not fair yes, for me to respond. Did the previous board members ask any of us to raise the dues? It says, by, uh, and again, this is an interpretation. You guys interpret y'all's way. You're exactly right. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. It's an interpretation because you got an attorney that says you can't raise the dues. Okay. Got three attorney letters. Uh, I only have the one. I got, I got the one. Now, and again, and everybody that I talk to, every attorney that we spoke to, and again, it's going to be up to a judge. Sure. Every attorney can come out there and spread whatever they want to say. Yes, no, maybe so. Same as y'all. Right. Same as us. The way we interpret it, that you can raise it. Right. Y'all interpret it, no you can't, so you got on the board and you made it not happen. Right. And that's fine. All right? But on the same token, y'all didn't give it a, a, a chance. Not not one chance at all to no, go they're, they're, go and try to go to a, a court and settle it. There, there, were, there were letters in the legal file that was at Linda's house for over two years. And they were told. Okay, I don't have that. Year. I don't have that information now. If okay. you provide that information to me, all you had to do is ask. No, I'm, I'm asking now, Nora. I don't have that information. And again, I'm just now getting involved in this. I can tell you. I can respond a little. This letter right here that you're making copies of. This letter was one copy was handed to the board. Right. This is confidential information, and they're making it. Uh, they're making copies of it. That's not, that's yeah. not, no, they're not. Yeah, no, they are. You can go out there, just like I went and got Mr. Crippen's criminal records out there on the gosh dang website. Yeah, everything is out there on the website. You can't get this off the website. Absolutely, you most certainly can. I'll speak to my wife. <laughs> yeah, because I need to know where it come out because. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't hear, I, didn't, I can't. On the floor. You found it on the floor. On the floor of what? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know, it was handed to me. I was going to a trash in the So all I'm asking is, is that you guys went and y'all saw an attorney because a, a homeowner had questions about, you know, our community, but we paid $5,000 for this attorney to see if we can answer those questions. But yet this one right here, y'all were hell-bent against the dues being raised, period, and y'all just settled with this attorney. We didn't want to pay 30, 40,000 attorneys to Y'all did in 2010? <laughs> no, not at all. No, we probably didn't pay that much, but on the same token. I wasn't here. We didn't. Yeah, I, I understand. I wasn't here. either. Somebody said I was, but I wasn't. But on the same token, we went through there. And I understand we're, we're scared of the same thing happening again. I, I get that. But that's why we need our dues the way they are, because we don't have the money to fight. Okay, and question. Criminals question. and question. people like that put us on the our community. Okay, so, so what is your suggestion? Wait a minute. Uh, all I'm suggesting is, is that... You said that we paid the five thousand dollars to get an attorney to, to answer the questions no, of the community. No, okay. no, no, we didn't pay five thousand dollars for that. Homeowners got that letter. No, no, not that letter. I'm talking about the the, uh, the letter that somebody had requested. Y'all, no, we didn't pay y'all, y'all, y'all pay nothing. Okay. Well, no. All right. I hope not. No. I, I, I misunderstood. No. I, pro- I apologize. But okay. I'm mistaken right here. But we still paid this guy right here five thousand dollars. But you know, how do we know that it's not a conflict of interest? Because. Admit, in my eyes, the way I look at it, not knowing you guys from the outside in, that I think y'all may be in on Mr. Cripple. I'm not saying that that's everybody, no. but from the outside, from the outside indoor is what it looks like. And if our insurance was to find out something like this and got copies of that letter, what would they do? Okay, they will. No, they do have. Oh, they do have a the copy of every single one of them. That we have every one. Okay. Yes. See, so. Then why in the world would we want to fight it? Because if, okay. if they got a copy of Mr. Fuller's letter that says that we can raise the dues, that insurance company can't say, well, yes, you can or no, you can't. No, the insurance company, this is what they said. We, we sent them everything. Yeah. Everything that we have. And y'all said that the, he said it's best to sell. No. That's what y'all said. No, no, no. Okay. I suggest you trying to recoup Whenever everything was sent to the insurance company, uh-huh. we asked, do we need to get an attorney? Do we need to contact you? They said no. Even if you if you would have sent this way back when, we would not have provided you with an attorney. This is not insur- anything that the insurance does or deals with. If it goes to a lawsuit and into court, then we contact the insurance. The insurance provides us with their insurance. So in regards to the insurance, we send them everything that we have. All the, the uh, letters from previous attorneys, all the letters, the three or four that we have, stuff like that, we've sent them everything. And that's what they told us. In regards to the insurance, we didn't need to contact them, and even if we would have, they would not have provided us with an insurance. Unless it went to a suit. Unless it went to a suit. And that's whenever we pay our $5,000 deductible to to cover. But that's what we have insurance for. It's actually $10,000 for the national policy. It's not five. That's why I requested a copy of the policy for the $10,000 deductible. I want to clarify that. If they want to bring us the policy and show it to us, I don't know where the misunderstanding came from, but now our DNO policy and our master policy are two separate policies. We actually, you know, if the HOA Civic League has a non-profit entity sued and fall under the master policy, that's a ten thousand dollars deductible, and somehow they're mixing the policies and deductibles up, and somehow using that mysteriously as a justification to sell what I'm not even sure was a claim. And I don't even know if they got a settlement agreement or a release of uh, any and all kinds of past present future, anything like that at all. I don't Did know you not get a letter there. from the attorney? What's that? Did you not receive a letter from the attorney? I did. How much did y'all spend for that? You want to show me his invoice too? I mean, your phone. I don't have right his invoice. I don't know you don't have But he told you what paperwork could be released That's his interpretation, and I can assure you that I don't believe it's correct. Hey, he's one of the best HOA attorneys in Houston, so I, I don't know what... It's funny, it's funny you mention that, because I only really see one HOA case the guy's ever had. He does mostly bankruptcy and, you know... No, he students, used to work for a law firm. Like he used so to be an HOA know. attorney for a law firm, and then he decided this year to go out on his own. Great for that. That's one. John, what, what would be your suggestion? Well, my, my thing was is that the same individual, and this again, this is my train of thought, and I'll, I'll let you guys already know this on my part, is that the individual that was involved in this so-called wanted the money, the claim, or whatever, or whatever to go to sue, is the same stupid individual that screwed us, you know, many years ago, that put us in the situation that we're in. But so instead of us doing the right thing, maybe looking at it, maybe saying, you know what, let's take a chance. I mean, I'll go get an attorney, I'll get a criminal record against this guy that's had false 
uh, uh, claims that he's made, the insurance company's suing him for false claims, not once, not twice, more than three times. But that's what an attorney does. I understand that. I understand that. But that's what an attorney is for. That's why we utilize an attorney because, like you said, the best HOA attorney in the world is or the, the guy that y'all talk to. Understandable. But there are places that we can go to get information that's needed. And we're not doing that. But y'all, y'all make that decision whether or not y'all want to pursue that. And maybe it's not the best interest of the community, but the best interest of y'all. What I did was. What? And you are. You're on the board, and that's the responsibility. No, I said that you the take. other board did it, and they had three lawyers. That was from a uh, HOA attorney. Okay, and I cannot speak for them. I cannot speak for them. But they probably said, you know what? I'll take this letter from Mr. Fuller. That yeah, is, that yeah, is. He's a probate attorney. Oh, uh, and, and this is not. This guy right here is passed the bar exam in 2015. Works for a law firm for six months. He's an HOA attorney. Oh my no, God! He, 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 you look at his form. He's not. He's still under probate. Thank you're talking about two different attorneys. I'm sorry. You're yeah. talking about David Fowler. We can argue this all night long. I, I got you, but, but let's put it to bed. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I my three minutes is up. I mean, you asked me yeah. a question. I answered it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that that's the way it should be. Yeah. 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 Y
I would have never said a word if you would have let the home owners vote. But that did not happen. The, the problem with that, Troy, you know better than I do. I mean, you see the homeowners that are here right now. You got yeah, nine hundred. Yeah. You got yeah. nine hundred homeowners. You got what? Fifteen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. but uh, if, if, that, if that's what y'all okay, want, we'll do that. If we're wrong, yes, we'll tell you, hey, I shouldn't have did that. Okay, but we I got did. somebody else with the floor. Okay, yes, anybody else? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not concerned about what's been done in the last couple of months. My question is, is what was in the letter that was sent out, there was a statement in there saying that the board, the majority of the board, was in favor of having fire to do for the neighborhood. So my question is, is what's the plan for the board going forward in the next couple oh, months to make that happen? Oh, let, what letter is that you're talking about, sir? What it was sent out to whether you wanted to donate your money in or get your money back. Okay. I don't think it's stated in that letter about right. that. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So, so whether it was or what? Okay, sure. Well, she wrote the letter. Yeah. What, what we had talked about at the last meeting was in September or October, we would like to call a, a, you know, like our monthly meeting and literally on the agenda have, because we have to go over our financial reports. But after that, the only thing that would be discussed is people to come up with ideas to other, and I mean, like what Patsy did. Come up with ideas other than the eight mils per square foot, just ideas from the community how you know what's your idea hundred dollars per square foot if you have more than or hundred dollars per lot if you have more than one lot it goes down to 50 but different ideas so that we can get this together and have it out to a letter in november or december whenever the maintenance fees go out i think i think those are all just mechanical ways of how you assess it i think the root of the problem is is the procedure for increasing <laughs> yes, that's what, what needs to be and good. that's what that's yes. what we're going to do is send well, away when they are for the week up to a determination of them, we will ha we have to send out a letter to every property owner, and you vote whether you approve or if you disapprove. We have to have 75 percent of section one, two, and three. 57. 57 percent of. 67. 67. 67 percent of section four. 67 percent of section five. And 67% of section 6. 75. The 6 is already there. So do y'all have a legal opinion that states all this? We will get one. No, we will have one. No, I mean, we're not just going to have to change something. We're just trying to figure out I, what you know. way we're going to go, I'm just curious. how much, and we do have a big, different opinions. Like, uh, well, and like I said, the work before us was going to use an attorney, and we went to them, them, and the, that attorney wouldn't do it because they said that you couldn't raise them. So we didn't go with that attorney. The attorney that the previous board was going to use, we contacted him, or at least I did, about raising the uh, maintenance fees. And he said, no, you can't. So we didn't go with that attorney because we want to raise. Mr. Fuller? Nope. No. Uh, what did you say? You said we went to an Mark. attorney and didn't use him because he said no? No. The yeah. attorney that y'all were going to hire that y'all got a, um, a uh, fee schedule from, the same attorney in that firm was the one that wrote the letter in 2002 that said you cannot raise maintenance fees but every 10 years. So we didn't go with that firm because that firm said that no, you couldn't. But it was the same firm that, that the previous board was going to use. We were, just, we were just going to use them to file liens. We weren't going to use them. Yeah. I, well, we, that's what we were looking for was to get ideas for maintenance fees. And she, she they had already you. written a letter saying that, no, you couldn't raise maintenance fees. Okay, you've answered my question. Thank you. I just have one second. Okay. okay. Three minutes. Okay. My biggest concern, like this gentleman brought up, is I feel like we're making a precedence. I mean, I can probably go get a demand letter from an attorney for less than $200. I'm afraid that, I mean, I can go and send a demand that I didn't like the pool, but I didn't like, I didn't like how something was done. I can spend a lot of money, and I'm just afraid we've set a precedence to respond to a demand letter instead of somebody going and setting up a retainer, plopping out ten or $15,000, and then actually filing a lawsuit. To me, there's a big difference between a demand letter and a lawsuit, and that's just what I'm concerned with, is that now we're going to get a demand letter from somebody else who goes out and pays $150, and then you have to address demand letter, demand letter, and we've set a precedent. That was just, 
That was that's uh, that's a concern of mine for the association, and I'm not saying that. I think I mean I've been there. I know it's a hard job, but I'm just a little worried about that. That we're going to start getting demand letters, and they're going to want settlements. Well, now that we uh, voted tonight, you was on the board at that time. Which way would you go? Well, I don't know all the details, so I can't. I mean, you was on the board, so which way would you go? If I was on the board about answer to the Well, you were on the board before that when the letters was coming in. <coughs> oh, my vote was, it? my vote was, this is a demand letter. Anybody can make a demand. They need to make a formal, at the right address, a formal, formal suit before we have to address it. Because I'm in business, we get demand letters all the time. Unless somebody formally addresses it, well, I'm fixing to tell you that the man later this fixed the rain and I'm fixing to drag up. All right, I will tell you this. As you know, the board voted on using this attorney. First up, if another letter of demand comes in, it will go to the attorney. I want to know if y'all got a release from Mr. Griffin's of all claims past and present. Uh, we can't discuss that with you. Well, you said, you know, I heard, I watched the video last meeting, and Sarah talked about she got us this great deal that even Donald Trump couldn't get for us. It is $5,000. I want to know what we got. For all the residents, so we can see something tangible to know what we got. And I was looking through the minutes in here, and there's a lot of inconsistencies. As I've stated, the master insurance policy has a $10,000 deductible. Well, that's not the way we use, sir. It's the DNO policy. The DNO, does, the DNO covers you. That's correct. Lake Shadow Civic League is a nonprofit corporation is covered by your master policy with a $10,000 deductible. Because no lawsuit was ever filed, there was a vague claim made. You don't even know whether it was gone under your master policy or your DNO policy. Well, you I can tell you this, And you Mr. don't Man. even know. So let you me tell you this. No, let me deal. tell you this. What I looked at, let me I got tell my three minutes. First. You need to be quiet. I got my three minutes, okay? Whoa. Thank you. I'm not done yet. You're a lawyer hey, and man. you don't tell nobody. As long as you talk, as long as you talk, I got three minutes. I don't have any problem. You're interrupting me. But I got to speak loud because we're out in an open outdoor area. But I think we all see on the minutes here where Sarah says that she never had anything to do with that attorney. From June to present. It doesn't say June in here. I don't see that. I think that if it looks like a duck and walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it's a duck. A lot of us think it's a duck here. And one thing that's not going to bring this community together is a board that acts without any integrity, honesty, transparency. That's all of you. I appreciate y'all trying to do it. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Yes, I like it. Wait, wait, wait. I think, I think wait, other people wait, have three minutes. I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, we can adjourn the meeting. Yeah, I mean, you can go have a private conversation right now. Call anybody in there. Call anybody in there. Let's try that. If you can't handle it, get out of the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Come here to me, boy.